Good morning everybody, this is Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a Stampin' Show and Tell for you today. Today I'm featuring the stamp set Waterfront, which is in the 2018 Spring Occasions Catalog with Stampin' Up. It's got some great watercolored stamped images. So we're going to create this card today. Actually, we're going to recreate this card today. This was the first sample I did, and after I put it together, I thought of something different I want to try. So we're going to try the different, and we'll see which way we like it better. Today I am stamping on shimmer white paper. So it's a thicker cardstock than our standard Whisper White, even though you can get the standard Whisper White in thick now. Um, it has a little bit of a shimmer uh, in the paper, so kind of like a glittery image. You probably can't see it on the camera, but you can in person. So the whole card is made out of that. Um, I have pre-cut two label framelits from the lots of labels that we're going to use for the front of our card. We're going to be using the triple banner punch to create our banner on there. And let's see, the stamps obviously. We're going to use lots of ink today. So don't worry about trying to keep track of it all. I will have all of the details for this card um, posted below in the link. So you can go to a Google Doc and you can get the photos and the details of everything you would need to replicate the card if you wanted to do that. So let's just go ahead and get started and do some stamping today. Okay, so on my first go at this card, I just stamped direct to the paper and direct to my one die cut. This time I'm going to do a triple stamp technique. So what you do is you take your layers and I'm going to add just a little dab of snail to hold them in place while I'm stamping. So you have layers, it's a triple layer, so I'm going to center that on the one below. And this first one I put on is smaller than my original one, but the second one is the same size. See, they would face over that, so when I'm done, we're going to have the same size, but it's going to be a little bit different. And then I put that on my card face. Now again, I'm just using a little bit because I want to be able to lift these up after I get done stamping. So that's going to go right about there. Alright, so those are down for the moment. I'm going to move those to the side. So now let's do some stamping. I'm going to start with putting in my mountain in the back. I was thinking of a beach scene, maybe someplace warm with some mountains. So we're going to stamp in Fresh Fig and create a mountain. So I'm going to put this, I think I'll put it more in the middle this time. So right about there. Okay, so there's our mountain. I'm not going to need that, so I'm going to move that to the side so we don't have so much stuff on the table. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is the trees. Now I'm stamping the palm trees, the, the bark part. I'm using soft suede and then I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist to do the tops. So that's one of our new ink colors and I just like the way it pops. So this time our stamps are going to overlap on our layers. Okay, So let's do the trees first. I'm going to put one down here and then I'm going to stamp another one over here. And you can see how those branches go off a little bit. Now let me put in the trees, the tree tops. So these are photopolymer, you can see right through. So I can position my tree tops right over the top of those trunks. Okay, and you can see it more over here where it's got on all three layers. Okay, now when I pull these apart, I'm actually going to add another one off this side, but I don't want so much on this top piece. So we're going to come back to that in just a minute. Alright, so let's put that to the side. Now let's go ahead and add our houses. So I'm using Night and Navy, and I'll show you why I'm stamping them first. I want positioning for my sand and my water. So I'm putting three houses on here. Three little beach huts, I'm hoping. It'd be fun to go to the beach with three friends and have your own huts, but be able to play in the sun and the sand and the surf. Alright, and then I'm going to stamp three extra houses, which we need to trim out with our paper snips. Okay, so we're going to pop those up on top. 
Now, the reason I'm doing that is so that now I can stamp my sand and my surf in here, overlap those houses, but then I'll put the ones on top so that they still stand out. All right, so let's add some sand. I'm using crumb cake, which is a little bit lighter than the soft suede. And I'm using this one long stamp. So I'm just gonna come along the houses. I'm actually gonna overlap a little bit. And remember, I'm gonna overlap onto those other layers as well. The fun thing about watercoloring, whether you're using an aqua painter or a watercolor brush or these stamps that make it look like watercolor, you can really put them any way you want and overlap them however you want. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with Soft Sky to create some of our surf. I'm going to do the lighter color first and then I'm gonna come in with the Night of Navy again on the background. All right, so my surf is in here. So, and when you stamp over the multiple layers, you need to give it a little extra push so that it transfers all the way down. All right, I'm gonna do one more over here. All right, so let's see. Trees, houses, surf, sand. All right, now I'm gonna pull off this top one. Okay, save that for a second. Remember I said I was gonna put some more trees in? So, I'm gonna add another layer of trees. I'm sure I have the right color here. They're always marked on the back or your ends, soft suede. Got stickers on there that you can put on the ends. So, this tree was right about here, so I wanna put another one thereabouts. And I wanna put another one up here. And then I'm gonna come in with that lemon lime twist again and add some more green fronds on the top. Okay, so now when I add this back, it will be a fuller palm tree setting, but that's not all on the top of my card. Get it? All right, now I'm gonna pull this one off as well, and I'm gonna add a couple more trees to that third layer. Just because I really like this green, so let's really put some color on the top of this card. All right. That's probably enough, so I'll stop there. All right, so there's that piece. Now we need to add some more water on our card here below. This time I'm gonna come in with Night and Navy, the color that we used for the houses, and I'm gonna stamp a couple of times on my card here. Just kind of creating that shadow in the water you get on the beach. All right, and then I'm gonna come back in with a soft sky and fill in the white space. So in your colors, oh, that's not soft sky. Let's try that again. We've got a sandbar in our picture now. All right, stamp off that extra color. Let's go back to blue. We're gonna have a sandbar for sure in ours. It's all right. Stamping is a creative process. Don't get upset with yourself if you make a mistake. You can either adjust or if you really have to, start over. But usually we can adjust. So I actually kind of like the fact that we have a sandbar in there now. It's going to make it look a little more true to form. Maybe I'll add another one. I think I will add another one. So I'm going to go back to the one I actually was using so we're not messing up the color again. We'll have a little sandbar in our in our island oasis. All right, see, we fixed it, no worries. Okay, we have a lot of stamps on the table. This is fun. All right, so I've got my water, I've got my images. Let's go ahead and layer these back up. So you could use dimensionals to separate all these layers and I think that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> so let's put a couple dimensionals on this first layer. And that's going to go on back on here. Now when you put it down, you want to line up where those stamps were overlapping. Okay, see how I lined up that tree from? Now, this one, before we put it down, we need to make our tag. So I have a piece of that shimmer white. Everything's in shimmer white today. But look how much color we have on our card. And then I'm using the triple layer punch. So this is a pretty short piece, but it will still slide in right along your cuts there. Make sure it's all the way in. Give it a punch. Get that tag end. Pretty easy. 
And then we're going to stamp in Night and Navy on our tag. I think it's fun that it says friends make good times better. So put those down on the center. Love that we can see through our photopolymer. Now I'm going to add just a stitch of snail on this piece right there. And watch what I do. I put that tag down and then I put this right over the top. See I lined up that edge and then just smooth that on with that snail. Alright, I've got to add that now. So let's put dimensionals on here. Now I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of my tag so it's all lifted up evenly. I don't need that many. Alright, that'll do. And maybe you've noticed that my dimensionals are on kind of sporadically. Remember the first layer, I put them like right here. So now I've put them where I didn't put them before, so when you put it in the mail, maybe it'll squish and the post office won't charge you that extra postage. Alright, so now i got to position that on there to line up. Remember, I have these trees that are overlapping, so i got to have to put them back where I intended them, which was there, actually. So take time, put your puzzle back together. Alright, good. Alright, I am liking that. Okay, so same card, just a little bit of a difference because now we've got these three layers instead of just the one. So now we just got to use our paper snips and trim out these little tiny houses. So bear with me while I do that this morning. Seems like my hands are a little shaky too, so... I'm going to try to do this without cutting them. So your paper snips will glide right around your cardstock. They're pretty smooth to use. So don't be afraid to trim stuff out. I know we've got the big shot and lots of framelits and wonderful punches, but some images do not have those coordinating shapes, and so you can trim them out. This is how we did it before the big shots, so we've been doing it a long time. That's why we have such nice paper snips to use. They're definitely an essential tool to have, just like your bone folder and a paper cutter. You want to have a good pair of paper snips. Alright, house number two. And then I'm going to put each of these on a mini glue dimensional. Um, if you think your card is getting too thick, if you do all these layers, you could use glue dots to put them on. It's going to give them a little bit of lift, but not as much as a dimensional lift. I really think I want a dimensional lift on them, so... I'll just suffer the consequences at the post office when I mail them. They'll be a little thicker than they like, and they'll probably charge me extra postage. But, sometimes it's worth it for these lovely creations. Alright, one, two, three, make sure we don't lose those. So these are about a quarter of the size of the bigger dimensionals. These are relatively new. They've just started being offered in our most recent catalog. And see, I'm putting that right over the top of the one that was stamped on the original setting there. Oh, one, two, three. Here's number two. And a third one. All right, everybody still with me? Good. All right, so card one, card two. So which do you like? You could comment below. Let me know which one you like. So this is the first one. Here's the second one. Pretty much the same card, but this one I only have one layer plus the houses. This one I have three layers. I did some extra overlap in the background with those trees. Make sure you line up all your, all your sets. But other than that, it's the same card. So, let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. Can you see the difference? Little differences. So if you want to step your card up a little bit, you can go from this to this just by one more piece of paper. So that's pretty cool. Now, I always say that if you're going to stamp a card, stamp your envelope. Right? Why take all the time to make these beautiful cards if you're not going to make a beautiful envelope? So I've got a Whisper White envelope, and because I like those palm trees so much, I'm going to add a palm tree to the corner of my envelope here. Put on those palm trees. And then I'm actually going to add one little hut 
just because it's fun. I think I'm going to put it right between them. Won't they be surprised? Like, what am I getting in the mail? So, I think that's pretty nice. So there you go, everybody. I hope you liked my stamp and show and tell today. You can subscribe, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know what you think. Um, and if you want to shop for any of these products, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so there's a link below to my online store. And I will put all the items that I used here for you to have a shopping list for quick access. And again, like I said, there's a link below with that takes you to a Google Doc, which will have the photos and all my details of how I put it together and the different techniques I used. So um, don't be a stranger. Go ahead, use it, share it. That's why I do these stamp and show and tells is so that you can create in your own homes, in your PJs like I do most of the time, um, and enjoy the art of stamping. So uh, again, all my links are below and I hope you have a fabulous day. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye-bye.